Lonnie, for this just trip, I know you were dealing with an illness, but with the stretch that we've had, does this feel like a second road trip or does it feel like a part of a whole entire six game road trip? Um, a little bit of both. This kind of reminds me of uh, like the rodeo road trip in a way when I played for San Antonio. You know, you go on the road and you had all star break and you're back on the road for another X amount of days. So, um, it still feels like we're on the road. I mean, I kind of still remember my last room number from the other hotel prior to this. So, um, but it's good. I think, um, you know, uh, the win that we had in Cleveland and just the energy off the court as far as our teammates and us coming together has been very, um, it has been great. Um, and I think that's going to transfer onto the court today. And for you and the illness, are you, do you feel like you're back at 100% right now? Oh, yeah, I'm back at 100%. I'm back to moving and grooving, dancing a little bit, singing in the showers and stuff. So, you know, God is good right now. <laughs> Thank you. For you, Lonnie, just kind of like as, you're, you know, as you got to watch this team a little bit as you were you know, recovering, what was the biggest takeaway between the Cleveland game versus the previous two games where the energy maybe wasn't there as much or the effort you made? Um, you know, just uh, the willing to stay together, the willingness to stay together. Um, you know, especially after two hard losses like losing to Detroit and Charlotte, that can very that can deplete you a lot. Um, and I think we bounced back in a very uh, charismatic way, but it just shows our mental fortitude and our strength as a team. You know, we understood our what we're trying to accomplish and where we're trying to get to. And um, you know, we can't worry about the past, just at the present time and trying to accomplish and dominate that day. Who were the loudest voices before that Cleveland game, just in terms of trying to make sure that everybody's head was right and everybody stayed together? I think everyone, honestly. Um, there wasn't no one-man army this time. Usually it's like Dennis Shoulder might be talking or Dennis Smith or Doe or Dorian and stuff. So um, I think as a team collectively going into that game specifically, we all knew, yo, we got we to gotta pick it up. We got to step it up. You know, if we're trying to get to this playoffs, make this playoff run and get to this push, uh, we know what we have to do. Um, you know, having players like CT back available and playing Playing his game and doing what he did obviously gives us a, gives us a huge boost in confidence with, within each other, and um, we just gotta continue to stack the days. You mentioned about knowing what you have to do, and the last time you guys were here and took on the Magic team, things didn't go the way you guys wanted. What do you remember about that game, and just kind of what have you taken away from the seven games since then? Um, they brought it from start to finish. You know, since as soon as the tip off started, um, their energy was very apparent defensively and offensively, um, and I think you know we didn't really start off with the same, if not more, energy as what they were bringing on to that game. And um, it kind of showed, you know. So I think that was one thing is just consistently bringing that game, that, that game focus and that energy every single game, you know, no matter who we're playing against or what it might be. Um, in the last seven games, I mean, you know, we have some pretty good wins and we got some pretty bad losses as well. Um, but I think in the midst of it all, we're finally getting everyone back together. We have injuries. Some people are out some games. Some people might be playing or whatnot, like myself and stuff. So. Um, you know, we're kind of close back to full force. Um, and I think that's the best part is having everyone together so we can all play together and play the right way. And, um, you know, this is one of those games. You came back and you talked about getting CT back. What can Cam Johnson bring when you get him back? Um, just his size alone creates a lot of different things, you know, as far as the defensive end doing what he has to do, but also his ability to shoot and stretch the floor. Um, he's a great shooter. Um, you know, he's also a very vocal leader sometimes here and there as well, which is a great thing to have. And um, he does have a presence, you know, within our teammates and everyone that where we listen to him. And, um, you know, we trust him every time he's used the ball. Ten times out of ten, I think it's going in. How has it been just kind of watching him deal with the process of starting and when he gets hurt, he has to come off the bench and now he's back to start. Like how, how have you seen him handle that process a little bit? Um, very professionally, um, very mature. Like, you know, he understands that it's not about starting or, or being on the bench. Um, at the end all be all we're trying to win and I think that's something that he understands and he consistently brings you know his energy and his character or personality never gets deterred or it never bothers him you know he just knows when I'm on the court I'm here to play to the best of my capability and show you know why I deserve to play on the court be on the court and um, you know we're trying to win. And you can kind of relate to that in a way right because last year you were starting with the Lakers you get hurt mm -hmm. come off the bench what was that like for you and how do you kind of relate to maybe Cam having to go through that role when he was coming off the bench? Um, just control the controllables. You know, at the end all, be all, um, if your agenda is to win and you want the team to win, um, then it shouldn't really affect or, you know, bother you in any type of way because the end goal is to win. And if you win, everybody eats at the end of the day. So um, it doesn't really bother me, but I, I don't think Cam 
it has you know affected Cam in any way, shape, or form, which is one of the greatest things because a lot of players in the league have egos and prides that might disrupt what they might do or their confidence and whatnot. So um, his ability to adjust has been it's really great. It's not often that you get to spend three days in one city on, on a road trip. Just what are your plans uh, after get, hopefully getting this win here tonight and getting to spend time at Disney? Uh, sleeping. <laughs> I'm going to sleep my tail off. That is my end goal, my first goal, and missed, missed goal if that's a thing, okay? But uh, I know we have Thursday off, so I've never been to Disney, so uh, maybe I could try and sneak in there for the one time and have some fun.